Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Hello Yodelers, we are the Matterhorn Yodelers, I am your host today, Peter, with my other host, Jackie. And, and Jesus. And today we've got a commercial for you. That's right. We're going to be talking about the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's right. Uh, as of the 1st of October, it is officially the 50th anniversary of the Walt Disney World Resort. And so we wanted to take it some time to talk a little bit about the things that are happening, the things that they've brought about because of it, and um, and our thoughts and views on that. Um, so, um, you guys excited for the uh, anniversary? I think it's fun. 50th is pretty a big deal, and it's and Disney tries to go all out. Unfortunately, COVID kind of. Lower, yeah, change things up for the original plan. Yeah, there was a lot originally planned for this anniversary. They even like were talking about having fifty new mm -hmm. things at the Walt Disney World Resort, which that kind of went away. <laughs> yeah, there was. Yeah, they had a big promotion. It was like I think it was like D twenty three. They announced like for the fiftieth anniversary, we're gonna have fifty new things. Which you're like, whoa, that's a lot. Like fifty new attractions, fifty new restaurants. Like you didn't know what they considered new. And it's like uh, a candy bar. It's <laughs> like, Here's a Donald Duck candy bar. It says fifty on it. Here's a Mickey here, one. Here. <laughs> Here's some Instagrammable food. Yeah. Like, that's 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 what it's become. It's. Here's every week we're gonna come out with some new Instagrammable food for you guys, the Disney bloggers, to go crazy about that doesn't taste good at all. But it looks um, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> what was it like? The pickle hot dog corn dog. Ugh. Ooh. Ugh. Some people really like that. Pickled corn dog. So, yeah, it's like a hot dog surrounded by a pickle. Deep fry like a corn dog. Okay, so we've, we, we, we've achieved state fair <laughs> tactics. We're like, for the 75th, we're deep frying butter and then covering it with a hot dog <laughs> and then dipping that in butter again. That's, 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 it's pretty accurate to how they're, they're running things now over there. So, uh, yeah, so they've, they've brought about new special promotions to help celebrate the 50th anniversary it's funny though because one of the things they talk about is hey we painted we refreshed the paint on some of these old buildings <laughs> like that was one of their selling points which you could tell you they were they were scraping the bottom of the barrel there of uh things that they are trying to like promote here because uh you can imagine their budgets got cut quite a bit i even remember them saying that one of the plans was to add if you've been to Disneyland, you'll know It's a Small World has all the Disney characters in it. Disney World currently does not, and that was actually one of the original plans, was to bring the Disney characters into the Disney World version of that attraction. D that was supposed to be... Oh, so they didn't do that? No. They did oh, not. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. But they refreshed the paint! Because <laughs> that's what people complain about yeah. when they go there. Paint. Uh, if you talk to the bloggers, they do. That is what they complain about. It doesn't surprise um. me. I have a friend that went to Paris, and he took pictures of all the cracked cement. And I was like, "What are those pictures of cement?" He's like, "Oh, it's Paris Disneyland. It just—it's so—it's falling apart." And I was like, "Why? Why are you taking pictures of the cracked <laughs> cement?" Like, okay, whatever. And then kind of like you just said, like there are people complaining about it. I feel like he was probably one of those people. Yeah, that's that's a very common thread. If you go on these Disney like update websites, they always point out like, "Oh, look, the paint is chipping on this post. Uh, Disney, you need to do something about this." Well, and they like uh, the I think they like fixed Buzz Lightyear because that attraction was a uh, pretty garbage. It was pretty 
uh, falling apart. Like, there was, like, paint falling apart, and they, it was, like, held together by, like, duct tape. <laughs> so they fixed some of yeah. that. Yeah, they, they replaced some of the decals um, on that one, yes. So we're getting off topic here. Let's get back into the, the things that Disney is come out to celebrate this big anniversary. Um, let's see here. Let me get that pulled up here. Uh, so one of the things that they, they talked about first are the new cast member badges, which that happens with every celebration. Uh, but they actually have special legacy uh, name tags for the people that have been there since the beginning. Um, and so if you end up going to Disney World and you see it's, it's blue, it's all starry, and it has a legacy pin on the top of it, those people have been there since the beginning. And so you should give them a high five or, you know, a wave and say, hey, thanks for sharing the How many the magic, people have you know? been doing that? I mean, it's only got to be a handful of people. There's, th- there's not. No. They had a picture of it, and there was maybe like, Ten? like 15 yeah. people maybe. It was something They had like, like a special party or like banquet for them. I'm sure they had to really roll out the carpet for all 15 <laughs> of them, you know. <laughs> Right. Was it like, yeah. I remember one, Miss Joe, and she's the one that trained um, the Holmes, the president of like Magic Kingdom at the time. And he was there on opening day and worked at the Haunted Mansion. And Miss Joe, um, she was she was a very sweet lady, and she had her own break room. That's how long she had been there. And, and <laughs> so I was like, I mean, besides getting a badge, I mean, she got the recognition of like, this is Miss Joe's break room. You don't go in there. And you're like, oh, okay. Right. Miss Joe. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's something that was really cool that I saw that they they're doing that they did for for those cast members that have been there since the beginning. Uh, not too many people are left from the original crew of the Magic Kingdom in 1971. Um, all right. So the next big thing that they talk about is the big Icon Castle. It's different colors now. It's pink. Rose gold, I should say. It's, it's rose gold. Uh, I think the decision for the rose gold happened when there was this big rose gold hype. Mm-hmm. That they're like, yeah, we're going to paint the castle rose gold. And so they painted it rose gold. They have it wrapped in golden ribbons with a nice iridescent 50 marker. Kind of like the logo for the 50th anniversary uh plastered right on the front of the castle so i mean it in my opinion it looks really nice i think um they did a wonderful job um i kind of like this one better than what they did for the disneyland 50th anniversary where they had like all the golden characters and the giant picture wind magic mirror that showed all the different castles around the world i like this one better i think it's a little bit more elegant um yeah, no, I think it's I've nice. It's. I like the old one. I'm, I'm, I mean, I looked at that castle a lot, and I kind of like the white, but that's just me. The white and or white gray, and that's what a lot of people. Is. A lot of people are hoping that it goes back to that. I don't think it will. Um, I don't think it's. Because, it'll probably take about ten years, maybe. Well, they're just celebrating for the fiftieth new paint job. You know, <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait for the 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 diamond. Or not the diamond, the... The, the diamond seven, 60th, yeah. This is the 60th, yeah. Well, honestly, I mean, it would not surprise me if... Because, like, this, this celebration, this 50-year celebration is for a year and a half. Um, which Gonna leads milk that cow. In, oh, yeah, they got to milk it. But I think the reason why I didn't go for two years is because they're getting ready for... The Walt Disney Company's 100th anniversary, oh. which is happening in 2023. Oh. Yeah, that's right. And I think, I think they're planning something for that. And I think that, honestly, is going to be bigger than this anniversary, in my opinion. I think they pulled back on their plans for this anniversary and pushed it for that anniversary. So I can see a lot of the original plans that they have for the 50th are just going to go to that. Yes. So that's my guess. That's I have no inside sources, but that that's my speculation. So, um, also they repainted the toll booth at the Magic Kingdom. Oh yes. Ooh, where's the toll they booth? Painted for the the for the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Where they 
the, where you uh, pay for parking. Oh, okay, okay. So they repainted that. Oh, so the front entrance, you know, the sign, is that what you're referring to? Uh, that as well. Oh, okay. So, like, you've got, yeah, they, they repainted not only the place where you pay for parking, but also that little entry point where they tell you do not stop your cars to take pictures. Oh, when people do. <laughs> There's oh, yeah. even flashing lights with that, yeah. Yes, they tell you do not park your car to take pictures in front of this thing. Uh, it is definitely a hazard. There's actually, a, if you want to take a picture, there is a safer place to do that over uh, next to Disney Springs. You just park your car across the street and you can walk over and take a picture in front of it um, without having disrupting traffic. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because that roadway goes like 50 miles an hour. And I got a speeding ticket going 78 and a 50 there. <laughs> That's where the cop cited me at. I was actually probably doing like 83. <laughs> Showed that cop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we've we're moving on to the new fireworks show. They've got the new fireworks show called Disney Enchantment. There's a lot which of which will make its Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's going to make its debut on the 1st of October, so when this episode comes out, it's already going to be uh out and about. So, so um there's a lot of beef about this because a lot of people are sad that Happily Ever After fireworks show is going away. You mean they got rid of Wishes? Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they oh, got they rid of away. that a uh, few years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, I loved Wishes. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Um, yeah, so they've got this new fireworks show, which I've heard some of the music for. It's it's good. It's, it's honest, but in my honest opinion, it sounds like typical Disney firework music. It doesn't necessarily sound that special, per se. Um, but it's a mashup I mean, of different yeah. songs with fireworks. Correct. Sequencing. It's a. It's. It's not going to be like the Disneyland 50th anniversary one where they kind of celebrated all of the attractions in Disneyland history. It's not going to be like that at all. It's. It's going to be you know Disney music mashup, um, not necessarily pertaining to Disney World Resort itself, but Disney movies. Which, you know, I get it. Um, you know, most families go there to experience Disney characters from Disney movies and not so much about Disney park history. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, it looks cool. They're using projection mapping all down Main Street like they have been at Disneyland. Like, that's that's a big thing that they're doing. Um, so, and all over the castle. They've been doing that for a few years now. So, I mean, yeah, it looks like uh, it'll be an interesting show. Um, so, and by the time, as I said, by the time this episode's come up, if you're not planning on going to the Disney World 50th anniversary, it should be up on YouTube. I'm sure there's going to be a so lot of live streaming for, like, that oh, fireworks yeah. show. <laughs> yes, sir, there'll be a lot of that. So, so yeah, we got that show. Um, the next big nighttime show is the Harmonious Show in Epcot, the show that's replacing Epcot Forever that replaced Illumination. They got rid of Illumination? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, they got rid of Illumination. <laughs> I'm like 10 years behind. I'm like, I'm still celebrating 40. <laughs> yeah, so like, it's funny though, because like, when they announced that uh, Illuminations was closing, they announced two different shows for Epcot. They announced the Epcot Forever and then the Harmonious show. And people were like, why not give us the Epcot Forever show? Like, that's the show we want that celebrates the history of Epcot. And then it came out and everyone hated it. <laughs> everyone hated that show. They just thought it was really creepy to hear these little kids sing old Epcot songs. <laughs> um, so, but now we have this new show which i've heard again i've heard some of the music and it'll be out by the time this episode comes out so you'll be able to enjoy the music for and and the show for online if you if that's the way you prefer to watch it um but they've they've uh they've gotten rid of the majestic view of the lagoon world showcase lagoon with these giant barges uh screens and uh, a stargate in the middle of the lake <laughs> um, and uh, 
You know, they're, they're not doing what they did for Illuminations, which is bring it out at the end of the night right before the show. No, it's going to be out there all day. It is it is hooked up. It is it ain't moving. Yeah. So, and then, and it's funny though cuz Disney's all like, "Hey, we you're not really going to notice. You're not really going to notice um the changes here because we're we're going to be running fountains on we're going to be running the fountains on these barges and uh you won't notice. And the few times I've seen him test it, uh it does not look good. The the fountain effect that they're trying to go for in the middle of the day just Especially if there's wind, it's just like this haze of like mist everywhere. And uh, <laughs> I think they're just trying to do a world of color, but not the same status of world of color because that's a whole technical. How long did it take them to build that? It took like a good three years of yeah. like trying to put that in and test it. And... Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, I mean, the show looks great. I mean. I'm going. I'm holding my reservations of being critical on it till I see it, um, because I loved Illuminations. That was by far my favorite fireworks show I had ever seen. It was fantastic. Always, every time when I was working at Disney World, every time I went to Epcot, I didn't care what, what time I got there. I stayed till the fireworks because it was that good every single time. I love the fireworks show. That was yeah, it's good. It was a great message. It was cool. It was like it. It was the, probably the biggest fireworks show that Disney put on. Yeah. So. All right. So moving on, they've got a new show in Epcot. Not Epcot in Animal Kingdom. It's called Disney Kite Tales, where Disney flies kites over the. Their uh, their little uh, show lagoon that they built for uh, what was that show called? Oh, the uh, show that did terrible. Yeah, the show that did terrible at Animal Kingdom. What was <laughs> that oh. called? They're setting that up when you were there, right? Yeah, they were supposed to release it. That show, I forgot what it's called, but they were supposed to release that show like a month before I left. Or, yeah, a month or two before I left, but I guess one of the, like, ships or barges barges sank. (laughs) (laughs) So they had to postpone it for, like, another year or something. Oh, that's horrible. (laughs) Yeah, it was was bad, and it came out, and nobody really cared for it. It had horrible reviews on, from the guests, like, guest surveys. The guest surveys were really bad on it. It was so this weird. Wasn't just Disney bloggers. Yeah, it was just uh, the original show. They they had like these dancers on these like boats, and it just wasn't that interesting to watch. So so forgetting about that, uh, <laughs> yeah. they've got Something this new show. With kites. <laughs> they got kites on water. <laughs> yes, they've got giant Disney character kites. Like they've got a giant Simba kite. And a Zazu, and all these other different Disney animals that will. It's a daytime show, so they'll probably run this once, maybe twice a day um, when this thing comes out. I'm. Let me see here. I don't have a date as to when that one will premiere, but that one will come out during the 50th. It's part of the 50th anniversary. That reminds me of the one show. Back in, I think it was, I wasn't born yet, but it was when you guys went to Disney World, and it was like the show at Epcot where they had like the... They had the blow-up, the like, blow-up, yes. characters coming from the pavilions, and then they had the 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 flying, like, uh, they had the giant fans. They had jet skis and characters on jet skis. They were flying yeah. around. That was a great show. We'll never see that again. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny, too, because, like, I remember when I was working there, I told a cast member about that show, and he goes, that show never existed. And I'm like, I have video <laughs> evidence to show that it did exist. He goes, no, they didn't have flying vehicles in the air. Yeah, Goofy was flying in the air. <laughs> he was in one of those machines, flying in the air. Yep. Oh, the 90s. But, uh, those were great times. Yes. <laughs> yes. Risk, meh. <laughs> um, also... Something that they're adding um, 
as far as I know, I think I've only seen him add it to one of these things, but to each of the four Disney Park icons. So we got Cinderella's Castle, we have Spaceship Earth, we have the Hollywood Tower Hotel slash Tower of Terror, and um, the Tree of Life. Those are all going to get these, these fun lights added to them, which will add to their glow and ambiance. Um, I've seen the Epcot ones in action, which they are very powerful and bright lights. So they turn Spaceship Earth into any color they want. So they did. It looks. It looks really cool. I haven't seen the effects for the other icons yet. I think the other I'm icons sure they're doing more of like the projection um, mapping. Um, then like and that that might be the case that that makes sense because I know I've seen I have seen the projection mapping for um, for Tree of Life yes and obviously Cinderella Castle and they did have it for Tower Terror every Christmas season mm -hmm. so um, so yeah so they, they, that that's one of the key parts that Disney's kind of uh, advertising here is uh, those gussied up icons of the park so um, look forward to seeing how those end up looking at, in person so right. are they going to release any new rides so a lot of facade rides, change I'm kind of like where are the parades like show me some rides like release something okay. well, so, <laughs> let's talk about the rides they couldn't release <laughs> <laughs> yeah so 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 there was a lot of plans for different rides that they were going to be advertising for the 50th anniversary. As of right now, the only ride that I'm aware of that they're advertising for the 50th anniversary is the Ratatouille attraction. Um, yes. I thought that was already that's open. That's the only one that they're... Nope, they, they held the opening for the 50th. Because they had nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was pretty much ready to go in like January. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what all the cast members were indicating that like it was basically done in January. This Disney decided to wait until October to have its official opening. Um, so now that's not to say there aren't and and for those that don't know, this is a transplant. This is not a, really a transplant, but a clone attraction to the one that they have, the Ratatouille attraction they have at Disney World Paris. At, the, at their Hollywood studios. Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. Did you do Sorry, that ride, Jackie, Paris. when you were there? Yes, so I have done uh, the Ratatouille ride at Disneyland Paris. I personally loved it. It's very similar, like, it's the same trackless system that you would have in Rise of the Resistance uh, for those who have rode uh, that attraction or seen kind of ride throughs, but you're basically a size of a rat going through like a kitchen mm. and it's really fun I really enjoyed it um it was like probably one of the first like trackless like full immersion attractions that I've done before Rise of the Resistance um I would say it was one of my favorites at Disneyland Paris when I went cool which isn't really saying much <laughs> There's not a lot there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean they've they've got that. Um, so they opened up a whole new section behind the the uh, France Pavilion at Epcot. So they didn't really take anything out of Epcot. This is a complete expansion uh, to the uh, France Pavilion. So it's kind of in the back, hiding. Um, behind the, the front of the pavilion. So you gotta have to move around to the side. There'll be a big sign that says Ratatouille. You go to it and they have a whole new courtyard that honestly in my opinion looks better than the front of the <laughs> France pavilion itself. So, um, But they have a new creperie restaurant that they're advertising that as part of the uh, 50th anniversary. It looks crepes. so good though. I saw videos on it. They've got like savory crepes and like the sweet crepes and it's not uh the person that manages the restaurant it's not owned by disney so th i yeah. think the quality's a little better hope so 
It looks great. I'm a fan of crepes. I love crepes. Are you a sweet a crepe, Peter? Or are you a savory crepe? I am. I'm a Savories sweet are so good. So Jackie's team savory. I like sweet crepes. I mean, I like them both. Like I know, yeah. I'm... I got I got the sweet tooth. Like, If you give me a choice, I'm going to put a lot of fruit in my, on my crepe. That's that's going to be my go-to. So. So. <clears throat> So, uh, they, they also have another attraction that should be opening up in the 50th celebration. They haven't really advertised it because they don't have a release date for it yet. And that will be the Tron Light Cycle Coaster at the Magic Kingdom. At the Magic Kingdom? Uh, yes. Whoa, yes. where did they put it? That is right, right next, next to Space Mountain and behind the Speed Racer. Okay. So, it's actually behind the train station, behind the trail... Uh, the railroad mm -hmm. track. So wow. instead of like you know, in Space Mountain, you go underneath the trail, uh, the railroad tracks. This one, you'll go over. Interesting. Uh, so they'll have a tunnel for the train. Yeah. Um, so it looks cool. Yeah. So that that should be opening sometime early. Uh, I I think they they've kind of indicated it will be might be spring, maybe summer of next year of 2022. Oh, that would be um, so cool. So, the video of that was awesome that I watched. Yes. The one in it's, China. It looks like a beautiful attraction. I'm kind of holding off going to Disney World until that. Just to yeah, see that. just to see that attraction open up. I'm so excited for it. Oh, you didn't want to go. Oh, to, yeah, you don't yeah. want to go to Shanghai. And just, <laughs> it's only like a 30 second ride. It's like really quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so we've got that coming, opening up, uh, and then after that, um, and I do want to apologize now to my audience, we're doing something a little different with our recording, so if you do hear a screaming child in the background, everything is fine. We're, we're not doing a human <laughs> sacrifice in the middle of the podcast for good luck, no, not at all. I, we, we, I had to, I had to do this recording from home, so... Uh, so bear in mind if you hear screaming children in the background. Here. Peter's got the toboggan um, flu. He's <laughs> <laughs> going down the mountain it's too cold. quickly. It's cold. <laughs> That's right. Um, all right. So, and the other attraction, which we have no idea when this attraction will open, will be the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, roller coaster in Epcot that took over the Universe of Energy Pavilion. They've been working on this attraction since I was working there. Oh, so it's been about five years. Yeah, because I was there yes. when they closed the Energy. I, I love the people that work there because I used to work at Mission Space, and so it was right next to it. And that's where all the old all the old timers went. They had to just memorize one speech, and then they pretty much were like done for like thirty minutes. All they had to do was push like <laughs> one button. Well, and you can tell that attraction, well, the attraction no one went to, and pe there was videos of people getting off the attraction and walking around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen those videos. Oh, on the, the, the last ride through, mm -hmm. the ride broke down, <laughs> um, and so they allowed all the guests, instead of just pushing them out towards the exit... They allowed them to like pose in front of all the dinosaurs and things like that. That's cool. So they that was kind of like a fun farewell to that attraction. You know, somebody hit the ride stop on purpose or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Oh, he stopped. It would not su It would not surprise me that that happened on purpose. It would not surprise <laughs> me. Because people always like to be on the last ride, and then so and well, I would would surprise me. There were a bunch of cast members. Oh, there's probably a ton of, like, um, guests who are like, I want to be on the last one. And the cast member's like, oh, okay, you'll be on the last <laughs> one. East stop. <laughs> right. Daddy needs some overtime. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we don't know much about when that's going to open up. I know that one got held up. From my understanding, the roller coaster part, the, the construction part is pretty much done, except for the uh, interior queue space. Uh, the ride itself is done, but the interior queue space and the outside facade, they're still working on that. Um, also, one of the things that held things up was due to COVID. This one's going to have uh, 
this one you're going to actually see the characters from the movies and they were going to plan on doing these recordings while filming the Guardians of the Galaxy movie but COVID happened and so that got pushed back and so did this attraction so there's no from from what I've heard there's there's no indication as to when that attraction will open if I had to guess it probably will open within the 50th anniversary special uh, time period the year and a half but probably towards the end um, so um, let's see here another attraction that'll probably be open sometime again no confirmation as to when will be the uh, the, the Moana uh, water fountain area over in Epcot that they're building that'll probably open sometime where's that gonna be uh, that's over right next to living of the sea so they oh, took okay. out uh, one of the intervention buildings and that's where it's going to basically be. Oh yeah, that's where they have like right interventions over. east and west and Yeah. It was like a character so meet they... and greet there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like where you can meet uh Mickey and Minnie. Joy and Sadness. Oh, they put Joy and Sadness there. Or am I thinking yeah, the other so... side? I don't know. But yeah, you can meet characters. Okay. So, yeah, now there's going to be a little water fountain area themed to Moana over there. As again, no confirmation as to when, but it'll probably happen sometime within the 50th anniversary. Um, so keep your uh, ears open to uh, when that will happen. Um, Epcot's slow going right now. <laughs> um, but moving on, um, let's see here. Uh, they did announce that Finding Nemo the musical was going away to be replaced with. Finding Finding Nemo music show, no. so a, you're getting a condensed version of the Finding Nemo musical, basically. That's sad. So not all the cast is returning for this new show. It's it is going to be they cut half they the cut show. Nemo out and they just have Dory <laughs> floating around. <laughs> Dory, Dory, ten and, minute and Dory. And the shark, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, Bruce, Bruce the shark. The end, yeah. I love his song. If I had to guess. If I had to guess, they probably got rid of some of those uh, smaller musical numbers. Yeah. Like, Not My Dad. Oh, I, I love those. Those were the best. But, um, but Bring some it of the to bigger Disneyland. numbers, those will probably return. Oh, it would be huge at Disneyland. Oh, I would love it if they brought it to Disneyland. I, that's what I was hoping for. Like when they announced the closure of the Aladdin show at Disneyland, that they would bring in Finding Nemo. But... Do you think they'll bring Frozen back? No, that's gone. That's yeah. gone forever. They they've kind of indicated that that show is not returning. It didn't do as so. well as Aladdin. No, not as good. I like the it, Frozen it just show. The Frozen show's good. It was It's good, but it doesn't have the repeatability that the Aladdin show did because Genie had like a stand-up bit yeah. in the middle of the show that could be ch that changed one of you know, one of the genies relevant. that was on that show he's on tiktok and he'll talk about his experiences and they're the best they're gold they're so good so yeah so we've got that um i'm trying to think here there's not too much else uh club cool's back because yeah. that was part of the, uh, that the coca cola yeah like, you can get your beverly and you get to walk on sticky floors and hear uh -huh. the crunchiness yes. of your shoes so so for those that don't know there's this place called club cool and epcot that was there for years where you can try all these different sodas from around the world and they all taste and like garbage except for the one from mexico that was the best one i like the melon one the melon. The melon well, one. This was place great. was where um, all the CPs go to get beverage, free beverage. Yeah, free carbonated <laughs> well, yeah, beverage. Yeah, yeah, you got, and it still stands. You still get free soda there and things like that. So it's just in a different location because they tore down the building where it once stood. So now it's on the other side um, where the new Epcot gift, sh gift shop, what is it, the imagination mouse or works. something like that mm -hmm. i think it was it's not mouse works anymore oh, okay. it's it's they change it oh the creation station that's what they call it now the new the the new gift shop for epcot it's no longer mouse gear it looks like a generic mall shop not too exciting honestly but uh, i will try 
not to be as pessimistic. I've been pretty nasty this uh, this whole. They made it updated. Episode. It's more modern. <laughs> There's new paint on there. Paint. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what you're gonna yeah. get your your stepping and other on their fiftieth on your guys' fiftieth anniversary? Paint. Because <laughs> that's what everybody wants when they think. That's that that that's a lot of it. Um, but probably the one thing that Disney's really pushing in terms of like what they're advertising as like, this is what is gonna be cool, are the Disney Fab Fifty Character Collection, which are fifty Disney characters in gold leaf statues that are going to be scattered throughout all four parks. Not 50 statues, but 50 characters that will be statues. So some some characters share a statue. Okay. Like Chip and Dale. So, yeah, yeah like Chip and Dale, uh, uh, Jacques and Gus have one. Um, so, like, yeah, you'll, you'll... I think Timon and Pumbaa are another duo on there. Um so but yeah they'll be scattered throughout all four parks they've released all of them there's a lot of you know you got the the disney nerds that are upset off of some of the selections that they picked because they picked more of like characters that aren't weren't weren't relevant to walt disney world and still aren't relevant (laughs) uh that it's more of just about marketing to the newer disney movies than it is about uh characters that impacted the parks themselves uh they do have figment and the orange bird they, those two do have statues that's good um but you also have like bb8 um you know things like that so uh oh and the the what's the pig from moana's name i think that has a statue as well not hey hey but no the other forgettable hey, character hey. the one that was yeah, only the in the movie for one. just a little bit yeah yeah, that got a statue, you know? Makes All sense, the other right? characters and not that. <laughs> okay. I do have, right, I do have one right. thing that, that I noticed, and this isn't at Disney World, but it's part of the celebration, is that McDonald's Happy, Meal, mm-hmm. Happy Meals have um, like a 50th anniversary for Walt Disney World theme, and so you can get a little toy in there, and I got uh, one for my daughter, and we got Bambi. Oh, you got Bambi. And it's kind of cool because we have, uh, when we grew up, we had a Bambi, like, McDonald's toy. And it had a little butterfly on the tail and the legs used to move. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same. It's just, like, pure plastic no. now. And um, But it gives you, like, this this kind of platform and a little reflective um, background with it. And so they've got, like, all sorts of different characters that they're they're doing the celebration with. The collectors that. are going crazy for those. Oh, I'm sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So the drive through. Yeah, that 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 is something that is being promoted for the fiftieth anniversary. Are the the uh, the toys from McDonald's? As to how long that promotion will run, I do not know. I have not heard anything about how long that was going to last. But probably until the next big Disney movie comes out, and then that'll get pushed to the side. Um, so if you're a collector, get out there before you have to pay 20 bucks for the toy on eBay. Oh, they're the worst. Yeah. I hate eBay, like, you know, scalpers. And... Right. Um, they did mention, uh, they, they didn't mention a new parade, which has a lot of Disney World fans upset. They just announced a new Mickey Cavalcade. Um, which is what they've been doing instead of parades to reduce the amount of crowd buildup for COVID. Uh, so they've just been doing cavalcades instead of parades. So they announced that. Um, also, for if you are staying at a Walt Disney World resort, which if you want our picks for which resorts do you mm. think that like you know you want to stay at, we have an episode that's a. Uh, a uh, couple couple weeks ago, uh, that uh, that uh, might give you an idea as to what resort you might want to stay at when you go to Disney World. Uh, but a, a perk that they're bringing back in a different way is they are adding early entry to every theme park every single day, thirty minutes early. Ooh. I think that's so. Nice. Before. I'd love getting early I think entry. so, too. That was such a cool treat. It's just nice so that oh, way yeah. you can just get ahead of the crowd. Yeah, do the Peter Pan and the Space Mountain right away. And it's not more of, like, 
There's probably because they're going to create a separate, like, entrance for those resort guests. And so it will just be a quicker way to get into the park. Yeah, so, like, it, it'll be great. Um, I, it's, it's better than what it was before where it was the extra tragic hours. I mean extra magic hours <laughs> um, where you get three hours after park closing. I think having it open early is a little better than having it go past closing. Uh, and now it's not restricted to specific days for each park. It's now any park, any day, 30 minutes early. It so, makes it good, so that I way you don't have great. to change your plans if you want to. You correct. You don't have everyone it's, it's jamming the same park every day, and make it hard on the cast members. <laughs> it's like it's, correct. it's not special when everybody's going to the park the same day. It's like, well, I got in an hour early, and I'm still waiting an hour for Peter Pan. Right. Yep. Oh, so true. Um, a couple other things we have. If you're a Florida resident, you can get a special Disney World 50th anniversary uh, license plate. Our cousin got that, right? Uh, yeah, so. she did. I saw that. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Uh, they are adding a new scene to Mickey's Fail Hard Magic. I love that show. Uh, they, they've already added it to the uh, version they have at Disneyland, which, in my opinion, do not watch that version <laughs> at Disneyland because... It'll get, put a sour taste in your mouth because that theater was not made for that show and it does not look as good. Uh, but the Disney World one, fantastic. It's, like Even though it's the exact same show, it is so much better at the Disney World Theater at the Magic Kingdom uh, at Disney And they World. added, so, what, Coco? It, uh, they added, they're at, well, they haven't added the Coco scene yet, uh, but they're going to for the anniversary. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, for the, at Disney World, so... You can get a sneak peek. You can see the snippet if you've already seen Mickey's Fill on Magic. You can see online people have made videos of the new what that scene will look like. It's it's fun. So they've got new costumes for the characters. They've got their iridescent jackets and the, the, that's what they're going for yes. is that iridescent colors. Um, so that was pretty much it. I mean, they've mentioned a couple other things like... What about the restaurant? The re... Which one? The space restaurant. That's true. There is the new Space 220 web... uh, restaurant that's in Epcot next to Mission Space. Um, it's gotten a lot of good reviews. It opened up a little bit ago, so it's it's actually it was already open. It opened in mid September. Yeah, they're um, they're already sold out on reservations like through November, so it's only standby. Yes, so it, it looks cool. Uh, there's a lot of it's the menu is very punny. Um, <laughs> they got space fries, you know, things like that. So Astro Nuggets. Stuff like that, yeah. Like it's it's a little cheesy, but it's the, the it's a, a higher cheesy, but... it's higher dining, like hi higher end dining. Correct. Nothing says higher yeah. end dining than space fries. <laughs> and they've also uh, the, the the new uh, the wave uh, the wave that was at the Contemporary Resort Restaurant will become Steakhouse Seventy One. Ooh, um, I would like so, that. Yeah. I've heard so good the, con about the, the Contemporary wave. Resort is getting a steakhouse. So it's a steakhouse now. So nice. It's a, it's going to be a steakhouse. So and the food looks really good. So makes sense. I mean, that's um, where they have their big conventions, yeah. like high end conventions, and so. I agree. It's. It's for, pleasure. like, those corporate level. Yeah. And, of course, with any Disney celebration, you have the Disney merchandise, which, man, there is a ton of. There's a ton of it. Is there? I remember the 40th, there was a big opening that they had, like, a special um, opening at the Golden Horseshoe, or the Diamond Horseshoe, and, like, people could get the exclusive limited edition, this and that. And I don't think I bought anything from the 40th. I was like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it, I mean, the 50th anniversary has, like, their certain color, which is this, like, dark purplish blue, I would say. Blurple. Blurple. Yeah. It's, it's a really dark blue, but with a hint of purple. And then gold. And 
a lot of it. It's nice. I just wish... It kinda... Would you buy anything? Is there something that caught your eye that you would want to buy? No. No, okay. So... <laughs> that good, guys. No, garbage. Garbage. Throw it away. It just... It looks like your typical, like, year merchandise. Like, you know how Disney yep. does the certain year merchandise? Yeah, we saw that 2013 magnet. and the... I just feel like <laughs> they have, like, the stuffed animals, and they just put a big, like, 50 anniversary, like, tag on it. And Yep, that's what I remember. Of course, they released new uh, Minnie Mouse ears, which are very popular. What's your thoughts on those, Jackie? So... The ears are these, like, dark blue with this yellow foam mini bow. It's similar to the Disneyland 60th um, anniversary bow, which I have. And I just was disappointed. I wish they could have done something a little bit different, a little bit, I don't know, more higher. Made it look a little bit nicer than cheap. Yeah. Or just a, a quality design. Just like a different material. I feel like they just grab something out of the bag and change the colors, and that was it. So. Right now, you've just hurt someone really deeply. They're yeah. like, I spent the last two years designing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sucks. <laughs> Try again. All right. Well. That's pretty much it. I mean, obviously, there's they're going to be making a lot of announcements throughout the celebration of new things to come. Um, I think it's going to be a fun celebration. Um, it's a shame that it's definitely going to be a shell of what it was supposed to be, um, but you can only you can only expect so much. So, um, so yeah, so. Uh, let us know what you guys think. You can email us at MatterhornYodelers at gmail.com. You can follow us on Facebook. Let us know what you think about the 50th anniversary, if it looks cool. I know uh, by the time this episode comes out, the ABC special uh, that talks about the, I think it's a two-hour special um, about the history of Disney World, that'll be out on Hulu by now. So if you have Hulu, uh, you'll have access to that. And I think later in October, uh, it'll hit Disney+. Plus. Um, There's also so, a, a documentary on the building of Walt Disney World. That's really good. And you can just type that into YouTube and you can learn and oh, yeah. see some great footage mm -hmm. and learn some great history about the creation of Walt Disney World. A lot of attention gets thrown at Disneyland's history, but Disney World's history is just as interesting Maybe even somewhat more interesting than the Disneyland history. We talked um, briefly about it in one of our previous episodes, so definitely go back to that about um, finding Walt. Finding at Walt, Walt Disney World at Walt Disney World. Yes. So, uh, but yes, again, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Let us know what you guys think about the 50th anniversary and whether or not you're going to go or not. Um, we 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 want to hear. And don't forget to let your friends know. And until next time, I'll be the same. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember, before your bobsled comes to a complete stop, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor.